I'm Kurt Loder with MTV News. With his double disc history album due out next month, singer Michael Jackson and his sister Janet Jackson are shooting a video on the West Coast this week for the single Scream on which they duet. Allison Stewart's on the scene at Universal Studios and she has a report. Allison? Thanks, Kurt. It's been a busy day here on the set of Scream. Janet was in earlier filming one of her scenes, and guests have been stopping by. John Singleton was in. Eddie Murphy, he's making a movie next door, is supposed to swing on by. And Jimmy Jam was on hand, Janet's longtime collaborator. He also was a co-producer on several tracks on Michael's new album, as well as the track Scream. We caught up with Jimmy and talked to him about the project earlier today. In terms of the visuals that they're applying to Scream, what do you think about the combination? Does it work for you? Yeah, I think the combination is really cool because it kind of is taking place in a spaceship or uh -huh. kind of in a vacuum. I think the spaceship is kind of a metaphor of the vacuum that their lives sort of are. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that sometimes they're looked upon as not human. Of course, they are human, but, but maybe that's kind of a surrealistic way to say that, you know, here we are out in space and we're connecting with each other as brother and sister and we're kind of off on our island alone and we're doing our thing. It's very deep, very cool. being directed by Mark Romanek, best known for his work on Nine Inch Nails Closer and Madonna's Bedtime Story. They plan to shoot for about another week and it should be completed by the end of the month. Back to you, Kurt. Thanks, Allison. MTV will begin airing a 90-second excerpt on Monday from a promotional mini-movie Jackson has made for his album on an extravagant slice of psychodrama that must be seen to be believed. It's part of a full-court press on the part of his record company, Sony, to reestablish Jackson in the wake of never-prosecuted 1993 child molesting charges. In legal news, police in Camden, New Jersey, have issued an arrest warrant for rapper Biggie Smalls, better known as Notorious B.I.G., who's been charged with robbery and aggravated assault. Smalls was in Camden on May 6th to perform at a concert that he discovered had been suddenly canceled. The promoter wasn't around, but one of his associates, a man named Nathaniel Banks, apparently took the rapper to the promoter's home. He wasn't there either, at which point something transpired that resulted in Banks being stomped and robbed, leaving him with a fractured cheekbone. Biggie's manager says Banks was assaulted by a crowd following the rapper, not by Biggie himself. In Los Angeles, meanwhile, one of the most frequently criticized police departments in the country is trying to spruce up its image. Having several LAPD officers captured on videotape beating motorist Rodney King was a severe public relations blow to the department, as was a special commission report that same year that described the LAPD as racist, sexist, and hostile to some of the communities it's supposed to serve. But the department now hopes to turn that all around with a newly issued series of trading cards. The cards feature smiling, user-friendly LA cops doing various cop things. Officers from the city dive team, the mounted unit, even the intrepid canine squad, which so far hasn't been accused of savaging any hapless suspects. LA police are handing the cards out to all who ask. Just be very sure to be polite when you do so. One final note, singer Whitney Houston donated $125,000 last week through her personal foundation to Hale House, an organization in the New York City District of Harlem which cares for babies born addicted to drugs. Most of the money will be used to build a daycare center. A mother herself, Houston will also host the Nickelodeon Network's annual Kids' Choice Award show this Saturday, live from Los Angeles at 5 p.m. in the West, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's the news for now. Try to catch the Week in Rock this weekend at these times. Note that it's 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on Saturday. And we'll be back with more news later here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first.